Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In the previous video, we have seen what is the difference between a container and a virtual machine. And in this video, I'd like to show you how to install Docker. So to do it, I have installed uh, two virtual machines and uh, I want to install Docker on Debian, but if you want, you can use uh, uh, the Docker documentation to install it on Red Hat or Windows if you want. So uh, with uh, Debian, so I go on my uh, virtual machine. I provi provision it with a vagrant and I use the name of my virtual server. Okay, I can zoom. Yes, so to start, uh, we need uh, the first thing we need to do. This is to remove uh, all older uh, version of Docker. So to do it, we uh, just launch uh, sudo apt uh, or sudo apt get uh, remove on Docker, Docker engine, Docker.io, containerd, and runc. So uh, the next step is to install some package we need to, to add uh, to, to install uh, the Docker repository. Uh, to do it, we just copy it, we paste it, we install apt transport HTTPS, uh, we use C uh, certificates, curl of course, uh, GNU uh, PG to GPG key and LSB release uh, to get the release uh, version of our operating system. So we run it. Yes, we want to install all package. And after it, we need to add the uh, Docker uh, GPG key. So to do it, we use this uh, command. Oh. Uh, this command. Um, I think uh, we need to add something. Uh, yes, carrying here. Yes. Uh, so we download the GPG key and we install it on our uh, server. Okay, like it. And now we can add our uh, repository on our apt uh, source uh, on our server. To do it, we just use some line. Oh, download, oh, yes, Docker. And we want to use the LSB release with dash CS to get the release of our operating system. And we use the T, the, com the T command, to, uh, to push a new file named docker list in our etc apt uh, source list directory. So we use it, okay. We can check uh, with cat on uh, slash etc apt source list docker list. Okay, that seems good. So now we need to update our cache, apt cache. We use sudo apt update to do it. And now we want to install Docker. To install Docker, we need to install uh, three packages. Uh, the first packages we need, this is containerd. Containerd is a low uh, CRI, container runtime. And uh, after we need to install the Docker mm -hmm. engine. This is uh, the core of our uh, Docker. And to use Docker, we need uh, a specific CLI. And to install it, we uh, install Docker CE, Community Edition CLI. So I copy this line. I paste it again. OK, I want to install it. Okay, we need to check uh, that 
take few seconds. Uh, by the way, I can uh, launch a new uh, virtual server. For the next step, uh, I want to run CK2. I run it. Okay. So now we have a uh, Docker, I think, in a few seconds. Yes, now we have Docker. We can use Docker with sudo very important docker ps and we can use docker we can check the version we have the uh, sorry dash dash version we have uh, the docker 20.10.6 uh, version okay right uh, if you don't want to use the sudo before the docker command line uh, be careful to the security but you can do it uh, to do it we can uh, use the sudo user mod uh, dash minus uh, a and uh, lower a and uh, upper j and we use the docker group and we want to add our user our vagrant user to the docker group and to do it we just use the, uh, the environment uh, variable named user. I do it. So now I can uh, exit of my virtual server and I can connect it again. And if now I use the Docker without our sudo, we can do it. So this is the, the first way of uh, to install Docker on uh, Ubuntu or Debian or Red Hat. But if you want, you can do it more easily. So to do it, you can download a specific script on uh, the Docker website. This is this script on uh, get.docker.com. We download it and we create uh, locally a new script file get docker.sh. Okay. Right. If we check the content of this script, what we do, this script is very universal to install Docker on uh, many uh, operating system like uh, Red Hat, Debian, Ubuntu or other and install uh, the, the Docker repository on your, uh, on your server and uh, do the update and install all package we need like container D, Docker engine and Docker C, C -Li. and if you want we can now uh, run a sudo sh with the, the script. We run it and docker uh, do an up, uh, update and uh, install the pre-requirer and uh, now uh, get the jpg key, install it, install the new repository uh, in the new file uh, in a slash etc apt uh, source list dot, uh, dot d with docker list file update again and install uh, all package we need uh, for example docker dash ce and docker dash ce is just a meta package and now we have a new package to install a docker with the rootless uh, option and now we have docker if we check docker dash dash version we have docker we can uh, we can do again a sudo user mode dash uh, a g and uh, docker group and we uh, our user, our vagrant user, this is like if we do 
background, but I prefer to use user because this is our specific user. If we if we are not a vagrant, uh, this is just a variable, and uh, this variable uh, adapt uh, to to our new user. I run it again and I uh, go I I quite uh, I exit uh, from my uh, server and I connect to it again. And if I want to check without the sudo, I can do it with Docker PS, and that's uh, that's good. Thank you for following this uh, video, and see you in the next one. Bye.